Hi, my name's Andy, and in the previous video, I'd started to move on to the uh, input of the final audio output valve. But before I do, I want to step back to the uh, second diode of the double diode triode in the uh, uh, audio frequency amplifier there. And uh, in the previous video, I said that that diode rectified the signal and it went on to be smoothed and uh, provide the negative AVC voltage uh, to control the uh, the gain of the earlier stages. And uh, I realize that's, that's not a very helpful statement with the circuit looking like that. So I've redrawn the circuit and uh, hopefully it'll make things uh, a little easier to understand. Okay, here on the left I've uh, redrawn the circuit, so uh, we've got the primary and secondary of the IF transformer, and then uh, coming down from the secondary uh, we come down to uh, the resistor, uh, and then down to the variable resistor, and that's the volume control. And we've got those two capacitors uh, decoupling uh, that line and from the top of the IF transformer you'll see we come out to the right through a capacitor and down through the diode. So now you see I've drawn the diode as you would draw a semiconductor diode and uh, that might just be a little easier to come to terms with. So now what happens is the AC signal that's present at the top of the IF transformer has the positive half clipped off by that diode and uh, I'll give you a little demonstration of that. Oh by the way I, um, that circuit is exactly the same uh, the one on the left is the same as the one on the right the one on the right the switch isn't actually uh, in the long wave or medium wave position so that switch isn't closed but uh, bear with me and pretend that that switch is closed uh, but that's the same circuit if we then go on to add another resistor and uh, a capacitor then we can filter out the RF content and uh, we can add more resistors and capacitors and uh, alter the time constant of the DC level uh, that that diode will leave us with. But say, I'll give you a little demonstration of that. This is the uh, little diode that uh, I'm going to use. So I put a label on it to uh, to mark the uh, the cathode, and um, here I've got the uh, I've got the oscilloscope um, looking at uh, one of the um, primaries of the IF transformer. So you see, we've got a nice uh, AC signal there, and um, I'm going. I've put a, a 47 picofarad capacitor uh, from the transformer and that's what I'm looking at with the scope and now I'm going to connect the cathode of that diode to ground and you see what it's done it's uh, it's clipped off the top side of the waveform so that's without the diode that's with the diode in place so that's what the second diode in the uh, double diode triode is doing and uh, the, the scope is DC coupled and uh, I'll just turn the diode around so now I'm going to put the anode to earth and there you see we've clipped the negative side and we've got positive I'll show you that again don't mess about with live radio chassis uh, I'm silly enough to think I know what I'm doing um, but not dumb enough to know that uh, there's some real nasty voltages in here. Okay, but again, uh, it just illustrates the point, hopefully. Um, so that's with the anode to earth, and we get positive side of the waveform. Put the cathode to earth, or ground, and we get the other side of the waveform. Uh, and that's no, no, no. Oh, dear. Uh, Richard is under the hurt you, Richard. Good 
asking me if you, I once went on, on a computer course, the Manchester Jamie Louise, and one of the others on the course was called Jane Pratt. At one point, the lecturer said, please don't think I'm in a fun with you, but you must get a look. Okay, I'm sorry about that uh, detour if you were expecting to be going into the uh, output uh, valve now, but I thought it was worthwhile. The audio signal is taken off the anode of the valve and uh, you'll see there's a, a small capacitor that goes to ground there and that bleeds off any remaining RF uh, that may have found its way through to that part of the circuit as uh, you don't really want the uh, output valve trying to amplify RF uh, signals. The capacitor here and uh, the variable resistor uh, form the tone control and uh, I'll just demonstrate that for you because I think it, uh, it's quite effective. The output valve is uh, a pentode and it has the normal cathode components, the, uh, the resistor and the capacitor. And uh, in this case the capacitor is a 100 microfarad electrolytic capacitor and uh, I suppose that's got to work reasonably hard uh, maintaining the 6 to 7 volts um, negative bias uh, on the valve and of course that uh, high capacitance is needed because of the audio frequency so f fairly low frequencies and uh, a, a reasonable bit of current being pulled through that part of the circuit. The resistor and capacitor across the primary of the uh, output transformer there are fixed tone control components and they'll be cutting the very high frequencies. There's this uh, last bit of circuitry on the secondary of the uh, audio output transformer and you'll see that one side of the secondary is grounded and uh, the other side is taken via a resistor below the zero line or the ground line so that tells you it's going to be uh, a negative feedback or at least it's a good indication and you can see that that's taken to the cathode of the audio frequency amplifier and the phasing of that will be such that any peaks of voltage on the output will uh, reduce the output from the audio frequency amplifier and at the end of the circuit we have the speech coil for the loudspeaker. There's one or two components that I've missed out and I'll just uh, highlight those. These components are only fitted in the version of the radio that is uh, associated with a record player or as it says on this circuit diagram, gram, and uh, they're effectively uh, tone control components, resistors, capacitors that are fitted across the uh, input connection from a radiogram pickup arm. Okay, that about wraps it up for this particular radio. Hope you've enjoyed the series, 18 videos in all. Took a bit longer than I thought, but then again, I do get carried away and waffle on a bit. Um, so.
so uh, let's say thanks for thanks for watching did I tell you that um, the radio was invented by a little old Irish lady called Marconi and what a lot of old rubbish